Welcome back. If you're joining us, you're watching Channel One News. It's now time for Echo Watch. Of course, our focus of discussion. We will be looking at how exactly do we restore our water bodies. We are currently talking about drought. Then in the next couple of weeks, we'll be talking about flooding. So how do we manage our water? And for more insights on that, joining me now in studio is the chairperson of the Water Resources Authority, who is also the former member of parliament for Mwingi Central, Honorable Joe Mutambu. Thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you for inviting me. All right, let's begin with, you know, what is the water situation in the country as we speak? What are we looking at? Generally, from the beginning, Kenya is uh, ranked as a water scarce country. Uh, we do not have enough water to cover the entire uh, country and mm -hmm. uh, people, animals, agriculture uh, need water. Mm -hmm. I don't need to say that water is a national resource and people have been misusing water, mm -hmm. the little we have. We have done very little to, to harvest water, and I want to thank the government because now we have come up with an institution called the Water Harvesting and Storage Authority, mm -hmm. which I believe they will be able to, to, to harvest water. We cannot blame God and say that we don't get water. Mm -hmm. Frankly speaking, we do get water, rainwater. <clears throat> but over time, we have not invested a lot in uh, uh, tapping or harvesting that water. That being said, the little resources we have, we have mismanaged them. Everyone, mm -hmm. including me, you, you'll go to a shop, mm -hmm. buy a five li uh, f uh, half a liter, drink a half, and you throw you a half. You pour the rest. You pour the rest. Yes. And there's somebody somewhere who deserves that drop you poured. <clears throat> if we learn how to manage water, this country will grow. Mm -hmm. and will expand our, 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 our economy. Mm -hmm. So how do we you know, begin to learn how to manage first our and water? Foremost, first and foremost is first to take care of what we have and that is where we come in as an authority. Yes. Our mandate is to regulate and to preserve the water resources where water is coming from. Many people are misusing the waters, the water we have. You'll see people going to the rivers uh, engaging in uh, horticultural, tapping all the water mm -hmm. to their greenhouses, yes. and they let the rivers dry. We are there as an authority to make sure that we regulate uh, those uh, water users. We give permits and licenses to water abstractors, those who want to use water. Mm -hmm. Because on the other hand, we also need agriculture to go on. Mm -hmm. But we cannot kill the resource uh, by pretending or by doing business. And when you look at the business, yes, we are getting revenue out of it, but many of these businesses are privately owned and the people take the money to their pocket. They don't uh, share with the, with, with the Kenyans. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I, I am disturbed by what is happening currently in uh, our rivers. Take, for example, Nairobi River. Yes. Take, for example, Gong River, which runs all the way to the river. Go to Mavoko. I was in Mavoko last two weeks. You see what is happening there. Industries, they are discharging directly to the rivers. Mm -hmm. So you're talking uh, about pollution <coughs> of our waters. The, about food pollution. Yeah. County governments, they have been unable to, to collect garbage and they are discharging solid waste mm -hmm. to our rivers. Mm -hmm. And I can assure you from where I sit, I will arrest governors because the act gives me permission and powers to arrest those who are polluting our rivers. I will arrest them as the CEOs of the counties. Mm -hmm. the I will arrest the CEOs of companies. I will take them to court because we cannot keep on uh, polluting our rivers and killing Kenyans. Mm -hmm. Because if a company is discharging directly to the, to the river, that water will go somewhere and somebody will take that water and they'll drink. Mm -hmm. We are creating and causing cancer to those people. Mm -hmm. so, so how soon should we expect to begin seeing this arrest? Actually by tomorrow I'll be in Chania. I'll go to Chania, I'll go to Sagana, and I can assure you, the law is there and it has to be followed. 
first what we normally do we we give orders to those who are either polluting mm -hmm. or those who are obstructing water and if they do not follow the act if they do not follow the orders we have given them the act is very clear we'll call in the dci uh -huh. and we'll have to arrest those people it uh -huh. doesn't matter your status whether you are governor uh -huh. whether you are ceo of any institution or whether you are an individual or whoever okay yes let's talk about you know the, the water infrastructure in itself because if you know when i look at my you know when you look at the pay bill at the end of the month people pay a thousand shillings two thousand shillings for water are we investing enough in infrastructure to even, you know, let the water management work? Actually, the government has invested a lot. And the bad thing which is happening today, and that's why now we have another institutional authority called, board called WASREP, uh, Water Resource uh, um, um, Regulatory Board. The, the Water uh, Services Board, which is mainly placed under the counties. They use infrastructure which has been constructed by the government. Government has invested a lot of money in infra infrastructure, like what we have in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. When you look at all the facilities we have, they have been, um, they have been uh, built by the central government. And then that infrastructure is handed over to a water service board. Mm -hmm. What is happening, this services board, they are not even remitting and they are not even paying what they are supposed to be paying. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a case study and I have no um, apology to make when mm -hmm. I mention them on air. Nairobi Water, they owe Water Resources uh, Authority of a billion shillings. They but, have but not they are paid, collecting from but, the consumers. And, and they are collecting from the consumer. I thank God because I have been able to speak to, to the current governor. He found that bill there of a billion shillings. Mm -hmm. And now he has promised that he, they will start paying. The big problem is that with this institution, they are not paying to the authority and they are not even paying their loans because most of this inf infrastructure, like dams and like uh, mm -hmm. uh, water resource centers, mm -hmm. they have been uh, uh, enhanced and built by loans. Mm -hmm. Which central government acquire mm -hmm. from either any, any from the banks, and then one the water resource, I mean the water uh, services board, they are entrusted with those facilities. Mm -hmm. They don't repay the loan, and they keep on charging the the Kenyans. If I tell you how much we charge the water uh, service board mm -hmm. per metric uh, per cubic uh, liter, yes. you'll be shocked. Mm -hmm. Because for 1,000 liters, we charge them only 50 cents. They are charging over 5 shillings, or they are charging, I mean, over 20 shillings. Mm -hmm. Themselves, they are charging over 20 shillings or 100 so shillings. They're making all and the money. all those monies they are making, they are yes. not remitting, not even the, the, the revenues or the, the taxes they are supposed to be paying. Mm -hmm. So, as a water resource authority regulator, as a water resource uh, uh, was rep, mm -hmm. we are going to team up and make sure that we bring these people to account. Okay. So that we manage our water in a better way. Mm -hmm. Let's look at you know the current situation in the, in the country. We're talking about you know you know drought. It brings to question the quality of water that you know perhaps we are consuming because we, we see water tankers moving water, you know, to, to houses to, to businesses. But where does this water come from and how safe is it? I can I, I can tell you uh, from where we see it. Ours is not the service. Ours is to recruit those who are giving those services. Mm -hmm. And what we want to make sure is that they are giving the better and good water to Kenyans. Yes, the quality uh, water. When we mention drought, there are so many reasons why we are getting drought. One, we may be getting drought because we are uh, uh, obstructing more than we are, what we are not supposed to be obstructing. And those who have been given licenses, those who are doing bores, people come apply for, uh, for licenses mm -hmm. for bores. They say we want to use this water for domestic. They immediately they dig that boho, or immediately they develop that boho, they start selling that water. Mm -hmm. What will happen, the water table will go down. Yes. And the trees will not be able now to get the, the water. Yes. So what will happen, that area will dry up, and by extension, it will become weird, and it will be withered, and it will be dry. So we get uh, drought by man-made drought. Mm -hmm. We have those ones. It is happening in our country. We have people, like I said before, who are doing agricultural. They are drawing water. I went to Kibwesi, mm -hmm. and I found an institution or a company drawing water with a 12-inch pipe, mm -hmm. and 
the common manage who is there is not getting even a drop. The, dry, the river has dried, the ecosystem has gone, no fish, no nothing, no, and they take the water without even minding to know what will happen so, so tomorrow. So are you regulating, you know, the so number of this is that our you job, this is what we are supposed to do. Then another thing is that we have people who have built or, uh, infrastructures near the uh, rivers, and what they are doing, you'll be shocked to hear this, they are discharging waste, human waste, directly to our rivers. These are the people I'm saying from where I sit, they will face the law. I want to tell you, you don't envy those who are living in Mombasa, because the hotels in Mombasa, they are discharging directly to the sea. You want to go to Mombasa and have a, you want to swim to uh, our <laughs> don't ocean. Don't even make me think about Yes, that. these are the things which are happening and I'm not ashamed because mm -hmm. those hotels, so I'm going to close, those to hotels, the I'm going to close quality. them down. Mm -hmm. Whether they like it or not, and I don't care who you are, mm -hmm. what you have to do is to take care of our ecosystem, is to make sure that you don't pollute our water and we will have no problem with you. Mm -hmm. You can run your business. Mm -hmm. But if you are discharging direct to the sea, mm -hmm. You'll find a mutambo on your door tomorrow. You'll be there. All right. In terms of equitable distribution of water, what is it that you do? Yes, that is also another challenge we are facing because when you talk about equity, uh, if somebody is at upstream and they are drawing all the water, then they leave those who are at the downstream, downstream yeah. without water. Then there is no equity there. And those are the issues we are raising with the people who are doing agriculture and we are telling them, you cannot take all the waters because you are upstream and you leave the other guy who is at a uh, low stream without water. And what we are doing now as an authority is to make sure that we regulate those people and we make sure that they have their time to get water. We are not denying them. Mm -hmm. And they are also going to give other people uh, chance also to draw water because everybody who lives along that r river they must get water. There is something also which is a challenge to us and I think uh, I have some few governors listening to me. Mm -hmm. Some few governors they, 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 they believe that water is devolved. What they do not understand is that there is schedule 4 of our constitution which mm -hmm. talks about what has been devolved to county government and what has been left with the national government. Mm -hmm. so water what development is, is and water resources is purely the government agenda. Uh -huh. Water services, yes, water from now tap to your house, uh -huh. that is the county government and we don't get involved with that. Uh -huh. All what we make sure is that, because water is a national resource and water has got no boundaries. A river runs from um, Mount Kenya all the way to coast, uh -huh. to Mombasa. Uh -huh. That river, you cannot say it is a Moranga River or it is a, a Nyeri River or it is a Kitui River. That is a national resource which has to be managed by a national authority, which I aid. Mm -hmm. And I want to believe that uh, Kenyans are listening. Mm -hmm. If we treat water as a national resource, there will be no fight. And once people understand the law, there will be nobody who will say, this is my water, water is devolved. We, as an authority, we are in charge of water in layman's language. We say we own the water. Water Resource Authority <laughs> is the owner of the water it's, in the country. It's the owner of the water of the country. Now, as it's, the owners of the water in the country, what is it that we can do as you know, Kenyans to manage what we have? What, 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 what I can assure Kenyans and uh, the appointing authority, who is uh, my, my president and good friend, Uhuru Mengai Kenyatta, mm. he entrusted me with this enormous responsibility yes. to make sure that I, I regulate and I manage water in the country. It is not an easy job because to do that from Turkana all the way to Lamu, it's and not an sure easy job. Make sure we have 100% water I will coming. make sure and I want to assure the appointing authority. These three years he has given me, I am going to create a mark in the Water Resource Authority. I will make sure that those people who have boreholes, including me, because I have one or two, mm -hmm. I adhere to the rules. The problem is that those people who have uh, uh, applied for boreholes, they have not metered the boreholes. Mm -hmm. And they are extracting and removing water from underground without no measure. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows how much water you are taking. We are going, because you know we have gone digital. Mm -hmm. Today we are lodging a uh, Uduma number, yes. which is going to go digital. Mm -hmm. Every borehole in this country will have a smart meter within Maitina. 
before I retire. Mm -hmm. We will have a smart meter. And that a smart with meter. The, yes. And that smart meter will be controlled in a central point whereby within a click of a button we'll be able to know how much water we have used and who is using what kind of a water uh, amount of water. And if we have applied to use three or four or five cubic uh, liters and that now with our record is showing that you are using ten thousand, we are not going to charge you for that or you pay us. We are going to take you to court because you lied to us. So will people will the are there well? to the, yes or we, we, we cancel your permit yes. and we block that uh, bore and we'll not give you permission to to, to drill another bore. Uh -huh. So if we start there, because uh -huh. the problem is down there, if we start down there coming up, uh -huh. things will change. What about for me, you know, as a consumer, what is it that as I a can do? As a consumer, so what we are going to do is that we are going to make sure that we whip the the, the water uh, services, uh, services board. Uh -huh. If you are licensed to give services or for, to do water services, uh -huh. either by county or either by us, uh -huh. and you are not meeting the requirement of Kenyans, because principal, I mean, um, primary reason why we give you li license is to make sure that you give Kenyans water and if you are not adhering to that and you are not doing it because we have a lot of cartels actually in water uh -huh. there are so many cartels than in even in, uh, in, in fuel <laughs> in water there's there so everywhere. much cartels uh -huh. if an institution or a, a water board is not servicing Kenyans the way it is supposed to be serviced we are going to scrap them okay yes thank you very much chairman unfortunately we ran out of time but we appreciate you you know telling us what we need to do as consumers as well as what you're planning to do to ensure we manage our water resource so from tomorrow you're saying you're beginning a crackdown from tomorrow we're beginning crackdown yes. and uh, i want to tell kenyans wherever you are whether you have hundred thousand shillings or fifty thousand shillings just buy a ton once it rains and you have harvest water. that water. If we have one or two or three million or ten million Kenyans harvesting five thousand liters of water, this country will change. Mm -hmm. And from where we see it as a government, we are going to come up with a data. Mm -hmm. We'll tell Kenyans how much water we have, mm -hmm. what we are expecting, what mm -hmm. we have on, on, on the service, mm -hmm. underground, and the water which is running on the rivers will give you that data so that we'll be able to manage the water effectively. All right, thank you very much. Of course, we've been talking to the chairperson of the Water uh, Resource Authority, uh, that is Joe Mutambu, who is just putting some insights on what he plans to do. And of course, from tomorrow, they will be beginning a crackdown. But in the meantime, try and harvest water. The rains are coming.